Hold on, tighten up. Tighten up, look at that pass! Nice job, buddy. Real. Tip down. Real. Big boy. But here, here, give me the neck, quick, quick. Wow. We got a whole bunch of kids about to fish over here. The whole gang's here, quarantine. And we have Captain Jax with his man purse on. How you doing, Captain Jax? You gotta have on, bro. Let me see. Oh, man, that's manly. Nato, I don't want you to ask me for anything. All right, all right. He brought us some live shiners. We're about to catch a whole tank full of bass. And uh, we're gonna go back to those shallow water areas and rescue those little bass, brim, and cichlids. If not, they're gonna dry out and Fall prey to the turkey buzzards and alligators. Checking out, sharking with seaweed. Lad! <laughs> She's gonna get <laughs> Cece, that one. Real. Real him in, Cece, you got him. He's got a bash! Cece! Yeah, that's my boy! Bring him in, Cece! Cece! Yeah! Hold it, hold the line, hold the line. Grab the line. You want me to teach you how to hold them? Hey, right, look, let me teach you something. Go like this, you can hold them right here. Doodle, do it. Doodle, doodle. Put your finger in there. Doodle, 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 doodle. And put them in the big jug, the blue jug. All right, buddy. We're gonna transport this guy to, to safer area. Come on, climb up there. Cece, you're the man, Cece. Climb up there, buddy. Hey, is that his first bass? Juanito, is that CC's first bass? CC, your first bass, big boy! Drop him in. Yeah, give me five. My man. All right, Captain Seaweed here. I just threw the net. We're hungry. There's no food in the market. But, here, here, give me the net, quick, quick. But we have tilapia. I love it. I love that. I love it. Oh. Oh, tilapia! Yes! I don't give a shit, those are good. We're out here in the Florida Everglades. We have alligators, tilapias. What do we catch? About how many pounds of invasive tilapia? 35, 40 pounds. 35 pounds. Raymundo Muniz from Captain Jack's Bait and Tackle. Alright, I think you're on. I think you're on, Gordy. Go ahead, go ahead, Jax. Oh, yeah. Land, oh, no, he one. got wrapped. Oh, he got oh, oh, he's out, he's out. He's out, flip him. All right. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, oh, loosen up, loosen up. All right, Jax. No, 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 <laughs> no Jax. Did he cut himself? Here, here, show him the lip lock. Stop doing that, but you're going to hurt yourself. Lip lock him, lip lock him. Lip lock him and put him in the tank, Jax. I never got to get one. You're going to catch one now, baby. Here. Give me out. Hold on. But show, look, look how Poppy holds them. How come you guys are so dirty? They're playing dirt. Come here. Put your finger in his mouth. Look. The other way, your thumb. Now close it hard. There you go. Jack's first lip lock of a bass. Let's go, Jax. Come on, big boy. Put them in the live world. We have a sequarium. We have live tilapias, cichlids, brims. Here, come here. Theo helps you. Come on. Carry them. Come on, Jax. All right. Oh, look at that lip lock. Put him back, Dante. It's the king. What's up, Junior? You ready to go to a new spot? Woo, what do you got? Yeah, hold on, tighten up. Tighten up, look at that bass. Nice job, buddy. Real. Dip down and flip him. All right. Large mouth. Look at that bass. Here, lip lock him. Here, hold on, lip lock him. Dante, lip lock him. Good job, buddy. Let me see. Hold him up. Let me see that bass. Come in. Nice bass, buddy. Large mouth. Dante Kane. No, no, no. We got to release him. Come here, Dante. Catch and release. All right. Let's let him go, guys. Woo! Good job. Give me five. Woo! Bring him. Big boy. Let me see. Yeah! What a tilapia! Another one bites the dust. Tilapia for dinner. All right! Who wants ice cream? 
Not loud enough, not loud enough. Who wants ice cream? All right. What? Oh, you got to come outside and get them over here. Yeah. One each. No, 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 no. One each, one each, one each. Pass them, pass them, pass them. Pass them. The Easter Bunny is in the Mikasuki Reservation. All right. You guys over here, guys. Come on down. Welcome to Miami Springs. Lovely Miami Springs. We have for you today, we had a catch. We caught some on rod, some with the cast net. Tilapias, tilapias, an invasive species that we helped rid from the Florida Everglades. And now we are gonna show you how to fillet these. And later on, we're gonna show you a lovely, lovely recipe for beer battered fish. I'm gonna make some green um, cilantro, parsley, spinach infused rice. And I think I'm gonna make some lentil bean, uh, some lentil beans with uh, butternut squash and garlic. Some really good stuff to go on top of the rice. And that's all coming up for you on this episode of Sharking with Seaweed. Hey guys, so today will be a freshwater fish. Our scenery is on a freshwater lake. Well, you're gonna see a lot of our fish being cleaned on this lake because we toss the scraps over there to the cichlids. We have a cichlid farm behind my dock. And today we're cleaning tilapias. Knives we're using. This is a Danko fillet knife from Captain Jack's Bait and Tackle. Nice little fillet knife, not too, not too big, not too thick, but also not too flimsy. Then I have a flimsier for smaller fish, uh, Bubba Blade from Captain Jig, uh, from Captain Jacks. This is a nine, nine inch tapered flex. And let's get started. So here's our tilapia. When cleaning a fish, when filleting a fish, all around here, a lot of people make the mistake, they'll go straight down over here. But zoom in. When you go straight down, guess what? You left about two inches of, of meat on the top of his head over here. So, so you're gonna wanna come on an angle. Around those rib cage, out through the belly. Come back over the top and ride that backbone all the way down. There's a tilapia, not a farm cut tilapia, a wild cut tilapia from the Florida Everglades. So we have our first incision. Now, we'll bend that back and let our knife slide on top of the backbone. Here we go. Come around here. Let's separate the rib cage from the backbone and go all the way back. All right, there we go. Nice fillet. Let me see, show them here. So from here, we're gonna cut this whole rib cage out. Let's get that rib cage out of there. All right, ribs are gone. Throw it to the scraps, tail in. All right, perfect filet, good to go. Clean them off. Angle top. Show all those ribs. Turn our knife. Go on that backbone. Pass the backbone. Run 
rinse off. Want a nice clean cutting cutting board. I'm not a huge fan of freshwater fish. We're gonna eat these tilapias because it's a quarantine, but uh, I'd much rather saltwater fish. So I wanna get all that freshwater goo off of there, clean knife, clean board, and back at it. Let's get this rib cage out of here. Get that out. Rib cage gone. Back of the tail. All right, let's keep them coming. Does it look like Publix? Looks like Winn-Dixie to me, but only things. Guys, it's not farm raised. This is wild caught. A lot better, a lot better than farm raised. Farm raised, they just sit in a small tank, a regulated tank where they're just, you know, they're whatever comes out usually goes back in. And you know what that means back home. You don't, you don't want to eat too much farm raised uh, seafood, all right? Go out there, catch your own fish, get a rod, get some shrimp. And, and go fishing, man. You can go from the dock, from the pier, to the Everglades, from shore, from the beach with a lure. Get out and go fishing, guys. That's my recommendation to you. We showed you how to clean these guys. Look at all the meat. We're gonna show you how to cook them. And we're gonna end this cleaning session off with that sunset. Show them that sunset, guys. Sunset over the lake. Hey, guys. So we are finished cleaning all the fish. We jumped in the pool to clean up. We didn't take a shower. Luckily, we have a pool. Got all that uh, fish slime off of us, the scales. And now, we're gonna show you how to prepare the dish we're making tonight, which is deep fried tilapia, stir fried vegetables, and jasmine white rice. So follow us, we're gonna make a pink sauce. It's a secret sauce, don't tell anybody, okay? Very simple, my last cooking video, I was so serious, there were so many measurements and that wasn't C. that wasn't me i cook by feel i don't like all oh, little small little teaspoon oh no i don't like that i like to cook by feel my grandma taught me how to cook by feel so i'm gonna show you guys how to cook with feel okay feel means a little bit of this this feels right and after a while you may get it wrong the first time it may be too salty next time around it'll be better because you'll remember that, that touch, how much salt you dropped in it. So this is the pink sauce. Regular mayonnaise, regular Joe Schmo, regular Joe Schmo, just some mayonnaise. Just this simple thing is an amazing sauce on all fish. This is delicious on fish. So we're gonna go one big scoop of mayo. Let's go again. Two big scoops of mayo and Let's get a fresh spoon. Tostito salsa. Sorry, that's Hellman's Real Mayo. Tostito salsa. We're gonna put about four tablespoons of Tostito salsa. One, two, three, four. So, uh, two parts mayo to four parts um, salsa. Or I'm sorry, two scoops of mayo four scoops of salsa. Stir this up, it's gonna become pink. And this will be, this is from my mother-in-law. She taught me this sauce. Not the healthiest, but very delicious. So stir this up. Give it a stir, you could add some, what I like to add is a little bit of Tabasco to it. Free bird, Leonard Skinner, baby. Skinner fan here. Add some Tabasco to it. Stir it up real good. And that's our pink sauce. Top of this. So come over here, guys. Uh, this is squash and zucchini. We already started cutting it up. Let me add some more squash to it. Tuck your fingers, guys. Back home, zoom in. Tuck your fingers. If you leave your fingers flat, you're gonna hit the tips of your fingers. But if you tuck, you'll never get them. Tuck it on an angle and you're safe. Fingers. Cut this into quarters, okay? Four quarters. Go down, put your hand on top. Down. All right, marry it. And then quarters. All right, 
right, let me get it. On an angle, fingers tucked. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, that's good. My nose not long. Right. Pour that whole can of beer in there, buddy. Beer bag. All right. Now, shh, don't do this at home. No, I'm kidding. You guys can have all my recipes, but I put fresh garlic in my beer batter. There's about, I don't know, one cup full of garlic. Can I put it in? Again, this is by feel. None of that tablespoon, teaspoon, funky stuff we did last time. We're going by feel for now. Exactly. We're gonna be, we're gonna be genuine and natural to who we are. Okay, go ahead, buddy. Go with it. All right. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. We're gonna do a little shake here, a little shake there. Cayenne pepper. Again, by feel. All right, that's good. That's good, buddy. Dante's cracking some egg. Eggs. This is gonna make a world of a difference in your beer batter. Yep. All right, now let's go to Son, go get me a gallon size Ziploc. Hurry up, hurry it on, boy. There we are, we're, we're still sauteing over here. Ooh. I just learned how to do this. My friend, he's a wrestling coach at Beach High, Fred Roby, he taught me how to do this. Uncle he Junior. Was, Uncle Junior. He was a, um, he would cook for, all the restaurants on Miami Beach, he cooked for the uh, Captain Gordon's back in the day on 79th Street, the Crab, uh, the Crab House, Gino's Pizza, and I'd always see him doing this, tossing veggies in the pan. I'm like, oh man, that looks scary. He taught me how to do it. So these are sauteing. Now we're gonna do our, we're gonna work on our batter. This is another uh, trick. So what we're gonna use is Pepper. AP, AP baby, all-purpose flour. And in Spanish, galleta molida. Abuelitas galletas. Brown cracker meal. Cracker meal. Cracker meal. Yeah. Galletas crackers. Oh. Galleta. All right, here we go. Should I pour it in? Here, you pour it in. I'll, I'll use uh, the I'll can opener. This. The barracuda teeth. And this. Here we go. There. Here, I'll hold it open. Go. All right, buddy. All right, that's a whole pack of Cracker Meal. Look familiar? Win Dixie. Publix. I don't even think, uh, maybe Whole Foods. Whole Foods. 
The same tilapia fillets you guys buy there, we caught them. And here they are, same color, same texture, a little more firm than saltwater snapper. We're all cut up in chunks and we're ready to go into our bath of beer, garlic, and cayenne pepper or an egg. Okay, so I think they're ready because they're floating to the top. Let's take them out. Ooh, look at that golden. Don't pinch too hard. Put them on the paper. Look at that golden fish. Beautiful. Wow. Back up a little bit. Okay. Give the chef some space. That's golden. Look at that golden fish. Golden tilapia. Oh. Okay, guys. So we walked you through catching these tilapias, we cleaned them for you, we showed you how to fillet them, and we showed you how to prepare them, how to batter the fish, how to stir fry some veggies, how to make this amazing green rice, and now we're gonna taste it out. I have my sidekick with me, Dante Kane. He helped me catch him, I filleted him, he's not quite there yet with filleting but he helped me deep fry him. He was in there with the hot grease and everything, not scared, didn't get burned, he did good. Uh, so let's try it out, Dante, I'll, I'll let you go first. What are we gonna try first? Whatever you like, son. Oh, let's show them our secret. What do we put on our rice? You guys soy back home. soy sauce. Gotta try a little soy sauce on your rice, it's pretty good. I'm gonna try it out with everything, guys. Follow me over here. So we're gonna dig in. I'm gonna put a little bit of our pink sauce I showed you how to make on one of these pieces of fish here. Ooh, that looks good. Sure. I'm gonna get a little bit of zucchini, some of that rice on there. Let's cut that fish in half first. Some fish, some veggie, and some rice. Mmm, that's really good. That's it for today, guys. This is delicious. Wow, tilapia. Tilapia tastes different when you catch it than from Publix, I gotta say. So go out there, catch you some tilapia, some cichlids, who cares? Catch you your own fish, your own dinner. I showed you how to make it, how to clean it, and show us your videos, okay? Like, subscribe, and follow us, Sharking with Seaweed on YouTube. And on Instagram. At Shark and with Seaweed on Instagram. Shark and with Seaweed.